Hey everyone, Vintage Vinny here. Welcome to another thrift store and antique store haul. Everything I'm going to be sharing with you today came from the Goodwill and the Hancock Antique Mall in Hancock, Maryland. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, there were a few things that I threw in this box that were um, from the Goodwill and then, like I said, the Hancock Antique Mall. I didn't spend a whole lot, didn't find a whole lot this time, but like I always am satisfied with some of the things I did find. So these were from that little charity thrift store that is in Hancock. It's called Loaves and Fishes, I think. And these are Scrubbing Bubbles Automatic Shower Cleaner. Those will be up on eBay. I think I can get about 60 bucks for both of them. So that was a really good find there. The only other thing I picked up at that thrift shop was this really interesting vase. I mean, just look at the colors on it. Green and blue. And look, it's made by Odagiri, Japan. So I don't know when it was made or anything, but I just love the look of it. You guys know green and blue are my favorite colors, and for it to be combined in ceramic is quite phenomenal, and I love the shape of it, don't you? Alrighty, so this guy was 50% off in the booth that I found him in. This is a McCoy Bulldog Planter. No maker's mark. Like I said, it was half off. He's been there for a while, and the booth finally had a sale. Not that $5 was too much to ask, but I think each time that I've been there, and he's still been there, I've just been kind of picky because I had, my cart was full. So this time, since I didn't find too much, I said if he was still there, I would grab him, and he was 50% off, so I went ahead and picked him up. I also found two frog um, sun catchers. I know that people like to have these. They collect them. And they're just fun for the window. So I went ahead and picked two of those up. They were reasonably priced. I also spotted this piece. It's a crackle glass apple. And upon some research on the internet via Google Lens, this is actually a fruit fly catcher. It's a very modern piece, but it is still very fun. It would make a great teacher's gift. You could do so many things with that. You could just have it out on display with your teacher stuff. Or heck, if you wanted to use it for a fruit fly trip, you absolutely could. I also found this pottery bird. No maker's mark. Probably Royal Copley or some other American pottery company. Was amazed that it was not damaged. But I thought that was great. These were in a booth that were 50% off as well. These gold and gray, like, spherical shaped salt and pepper shakers. I loved those. So I couldn't resist those at all. So these are really cool. I found this like really cool tacky Christmas plastic ornament. And what's holding it is a really cool match holder and striker slash ashtray. That will probably be going on eBay. And then I found these two 1913 Rumford recipe books. So those are great if you love the Victorian era. And yeah, I just, I saw those, the price was right, so I had to pick them up. So this is a really cool photo frame with a picture of Clark Gable in it. Remember back in the day, they used to use celebrities in as the photo inserts for the uh, photo frame. So I would say this is probably from the 30s, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like the glass is a little bit scratched up from age, but I guess what isn't that is old. I just like the fact that it's got Clark Gable in it. That's a classic Hollywood star from the golden age of Hollywood. It looks like the glass has got a little bit of scratch. But you know what? Take a little bit of glass cleaner to it, shine it up, get all the grime off of it. I think it'll look really, really nice. And the final thing I'd like to share with you all is this really awesome lamp base. Look at how cool this is. I love the switch on it. I love that sound, that's just so neat. I have not tested it out to see if it works. As you can see, it's a little bit bent up here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to fix that. I may just leave it as is. I almost wanna say that when I did my research or a quick look up that this had a metal shade and it's just missing that. I could be very, very wrong. 
But what's really cool about it, and I probably should have mentioned it before, but this is called the Sight Light, or this was made by the Sight Light Corporation. I love that label. I just think that that's really cool. And then we've got, I think I zoomed in, Sight Light Corp in Essex, Connecticut. And it looks like we have a patent number and such, but no date. I think when I looked these up, it went, or they were, I think these were done in the 50s, if I'm not mistaken. But it's got a real deco look to it, don't you think? I think it'd be really cool if I could find a shade for it. So I'll have to see what's out there. So that was all of the stuff from the Hancock Antique Mall. And then I got a few things from Goodwill that I thought you guys might like to see. So let's go ahead and check those out before we conclude. Alrighty, so this is the first piece I'd like to share with you all that came from the Goodwill. It looks like a warmer for something, like for keeping food hot. It's got Made in Germany on it. I don't know if it's going to show very well. Let's see. Yep, it says Germany right there. I don't know if that's newer or if that is older. I mean, if it's older, it's in pretty good shape. And then I also found this divided dish. It's yellow. It unfortunately does not glow under the black light, so it is not Vaseline glass. It is just yellow glass from the Depression era, and I love that it has its original holder. So those were a couple of good finds there. So these were just sitting on the shelf with all of the kitchenware. These are Farberware crumb sweepers. So back in the day, you had a tablecloth and you needed to clean off the crumbs. You used one of these on the table. I love the intricate details on them and I'm sure you guys can probably see it was three bucks for the pair, which was a phenomenal deal on those. I'll probably end up selling those as a set because they match. This is really interesting. I have not seen anything quite like this before. It is a glass pen and you dip it in the ink to write with, like oh, in the old, like the olden days. I'm not sure if it's old or if it's new. It has its box, it still has a full thing of ink. And it was interesting and it's not broken, which is quite amazing in itself. So I'll have to do a little bit more research to determine where I'll be selling that. All right, we got a couple of ceramic pieces here. This is a Napco Christmas sled. It is later Napco, like the 1960s or early 70s because of that giant gold foil letter N. That's in good shape, I didn't see any damage on that. And then we have a Norcrest Penguin Bank. I've never seen that before. There's the Norcrest sticker right there. Got a little bit of a nick right there on the tip of the beak of the penguin, but still not terrible. Thought that was cool, never seen that before, so I had to pick these items up. All right, so this last item is actually not from the Goodwill or the Hancock Antique Mall. This came from one of the indoor peddler malls that I have in town. This is a Holt Howard Angel it's supposed to be a planter. I bought her anyway, despite the fact that her wings are broken because I could probably gently find a way to get those taken off. And it just looks like one of those just Christmas girls. She was 20% off of an already low price. I mean, look at this, you guys. So she was $3.20. So yeah, uh, she just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. A magic eraser should do the trick. And even though her wings are broken off, I still felt that she was worth picking up because the wings are in the back anyway and she just looks like a normal Christmas figurine. So I had to pick her up. And folks, that is everything that I'd like to share with you all. It wasn't a lot of stuff, but I am or blah, blah, blah. I am very satisfied with what I was able to find. Let me know down below in the comments section what was your favorite item from this haul.